I have an interesting malware sample here. It's uh, interesting because uh, it's easy to do dynamic analysis of uh, its memory. So look at the strings in memory, look at uh, and do a dump. Let me show you. So this is the sample. It's an executable. I'll make a copy. Like this. And let's execute it. You see uh, it elevates and it has a digital signature. So let's now this, okay. Let me move this to the side. Okay, and we get an error, a right? connection to server error. It's not able to connect to its uh, CNC server. Now, the interesting thing now is that this Malware is actually still running, so the process still exists. So we can look now at uh, memory easily with uh, Process Explorer from SysInternal. So let me run this. I also elevate it, otherwise it will not be able to look into the process. So let me point to this process. Okay, and here we have malware. And I can look at the properties. Okay, in the properties, I can go to the string tab, and here you have all the strings that are found in the file, which is obfuscated, but here you also have all the strings that you can find in memory. Now here the strings are no longer uh, obfuscated. So for example, if I search for .ru, I will find here two domains. Well, if I search for this in the file itself, I will not find it. I find another one, but I did not find the one we found in memory. You can also save the strings to disk, like this. Let's put it on the desktop. And then you have a file here with all the strings. This was one thing looking at the strings. You can also make a memory dump. By right clicking here you can say create mini dump or create full dump. Here, let me also put it on the desktop. Okay like this. So now here we have a dump, which we could, for example, uh, analyze with the debugger or also just look for strings into it. Let me close this. Because there's just one more thing that I want to show you that we can do with sysinternal tools, also very simple. So I click OK here. The sample terminates. And it also erases itself, you see? Malware.exe is no longer uh, present. How did this happen? Let me show you. I'm going to run uh, Procmon from SysInternals. Like this. It's running here. And now again I make a copy. And I execute it, so it elevates, it initializes, we get an error, click OK, and after a couple of seconds the exe will disappear, like this. Okay, so now we can stop Procmon, like this. Now, if we go into Tools, Process Tree, 
we will see a tree of all processes that run on this machine. If we go down here, we can see malware that started malware and it also start command exe with a timeout. If we look at command.exe, you can see here the command. So command.exe is passed an argument, timeout3, and after that a delete of the file itself. So what's happening here, the malware launches this command with a timeout of 3 seconds and then it will delete the file. And when the command is launched, the malware stops executing. And that's how the malware can uh, delete itself from disk. Now, if you have this process tree view, we can select here the malware, right click, okay, and say, add process and children to include filter. And when we do this, the filter only selects the processes of malware and its children that it launched. And by doing so, we can again go into tools and then, for example, look at the file activity. And here you can see all the file activity for the malware and its uh, child processes, but not of any other. And here, write bytes. If we sort this, you will see that this process has not, and its uh, children, has not written anything to disk. We can look at network activity. Here is uh, the activity we see. So we don't see that uh, Russian domain. And registry 2. You can again sort on writes. And here you can see that there were writes to the registry. And if we take a closer look. You can see that it uh, made changes to the internet settings. We can, for example, select this one here. And then we have a filter here of all the commands. A reset value here. And a D word was written with value 1. So this is uh, a quick overview how you can uh, exploit this uh, malware that fails to function, how you can exploit it to easily uh, dump its memory, look at strings and also see its activity uh, with the process monitor.